Hey, what's up, y'all? So let's get into another video. This is by Bishop Patrick Wooden, and um, it's addressing William Murphy. He's been he's saying what I've been saying in these videos. Hey, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and look into it. Hopefully, I don't say something, but I probably will. But let's see. Let's start the video. An impression that you you can't let things stand. People people are sharp at the silence of preachers today. Not that preachers aren't preaching, not that preachers aren't talking, not that preachers don't have sermons, because sermons galore. But it's amazing how we manage to just avoid stuff. Find something else to talk about. When, when major issues are put before us. I had I've alluded to this many times, but I want I want to show it tonight. Now listen at uh, um, what was said about the life of our Lord. That if this is true, none of us are saved. If what I'm getting ready to show you, if what I'm about to show you, if it's true, we're all going to hell. Right now, hell bound, hell bound, sitting up in here looking like a, a, a church mother on your way to hell. If what I'm getting ready to show you is true. All that singing you did tonight, waste of time. If what I'm about to show you is true. At the risk of being heretical tonight, might I suggest to you that 85% um, of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Eighty-five percent of his life, he was doing what he was not called to do. God, y'all done got quiet. For eighty-five percent of his life, he was not flowing in his God-given function. 85% of his life, he is doing what his natural father wanted. But it did not line up with his divine DNA. For 85% of his life, and he's anointed, he's called, he's chosen, and he's wrong. That's true, we're lost. Matter of fact, let's all go eat, drink, and be merry. Go down to the store and get get a get a get a cold one. Get a six pack and just drink it. Because if Jesus was wrong for eighty five percent of his life, if Jesus was out the will of the Lord, then uh, we're done. We're done. Now, I would like to think. I don't know if it's true or not, but I would like to think. And I could be wrong. I hope that I'm not. I hope I've done a good enough job up until now. I would like to think that if I said something like that here, that you would hesitate at least to see what the punchline is. Because he's joking. He's making a point. He's headed somewhere. If there is no correction in that, I would like to think that would have been your last day here. Well, let me tell you the difference between me and that host pastor uh, that was sitting there speechless. What you say in a situation like that is, hey man, you need to fix that. From, the, from your seat. Hey, dog, you need to fix that. And you're standing up. Because you get ready to tell your sound man to cut the mic. And if you don't, he's going to be cut. Because you cannot let that stand. You cannot let that go unaddressed. That's not true. Jesus was perfect. After watching that video, I hope you can see 
what's really at stake here. Why you can't just, why the what Mike Todd, what these different pastors, Jamal Bryant, what William Murphy are doing is unacceptable. It's unacceptable and I hope you can see that the reason it's unacceptable is because they have set the bar so low that it makes salvation mean nothing. It's requiring nothing of you and it's going to actually give you nothing. There is no change required other than you making the decision to come in and say that you're now claiming Christ. You may be saying you're claiming Christ, but your lifestyle, their lifestyle will never show that they've accepted Christ. If people only will know that they're a Christian because they say it, but never because they see it, then you've never really accepted Christ. I'm going to leave it at that.